Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled Tafyomi Yevamot Chav Zayin Amud Bet. The Gemara discusses the concept of Ma'amar, which is a sigi that we learned on Daf Yitchet, Daf Yitet, and Yevamot. Basic idea being that Midoraita, the Yavim Yevamot, just have relations with each other, and that's all that's needed. The Rabbanan came along and instituted the concept of Ma'amar, where he goes ahead and gives a kesef and says that uh, based on this kesef, the Ma'amar, and that she should be uh, engaged to him. They didn't want them right to go to Tashra Shemitah to, to Bia. And that's why the Rabbanan set it up. That's Halachan, it's put in the Shulchan Aruch, in Siman Kuf, Samach Vav, in the Halachot of Yibo. Uh, fascinating additional point is during the stage where the brother dies, and uh, now the brother is going to go ahead and do Yibam. So Ruven and Sarah. Ruven's going to do Yibam to Sarah. Let's say during that time, Sarah goes ahead, Chas Shalom, she's involved in Znus. So of course, in Aisha Sish, she was involved in Znus, she's Chayv Misa, and certainly can never marry uh, the Baal. She's lost him forever in a classic case of, of, of marriage. So what about over here when Ruven is designated to marry her. So the Pischei Tshuva in Siman Kusam Vav brings down a Shita that if she's involved in Znus, as terrible as it is, it would not break up the relationship and they should still go through the mitzvah of Yibam. He has a fascinating point. He adds in that if they already did Ma'amar, they already did the Rabbanan form of Kedushin for Yavam and Yavama, then if she was involved Chas Shalom in Znus, then he said it would be a machlokis already in the postkim whether he can marry her in such a case. And do we look at it at that point as an Aishas Ish who's been involved in Znus and she already lost his achus of marrying the Yavam? So a fascinating question of comparing the status of Yavama after Mamar to the status of Yavama before Mamar. Shalom.